Terima kasih. Kita tawar naik lagi sahaja. Look at the blackboard. Here I have drawn the right triangle start pattern. All the logics, how it works behind of the Java program. Today we will learn. Okay, so let's see. Okay, students. Today's topic: right triangle start pattern in Java, and how it's work behind of the Java programming logic. Today we will learn. Okay, let's. Let's start, students. Okay, first, as you all know, how to declare the class, how to declare the main method in a program. Let's see. So first, we have to design and we have to write a class name. Class. I am writing the class name. Pattern. Second bracket open. I am writing the class name is pattern. Now, now I am going to declare the main method. public static void main formula ke rupein string a r g s third bracket open close third bracket close now second bracket open okay students look at here this is a table and i keep this pattern inside a table and as we all know a table is the collection of a multiple row and columns so here you can see all the vertical lines are indicates the column this one is the column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 column 5 and this one is the row row 1 row 2 Row three, row four, row five. So this is our left triangle star pattern program, and I represent this pattern program through a table. So as you all know, already I have said that a table is a combination of multiple row and columns. All the vertical lines indicate the columns, and all the horizontal lines indicate the rows. So it means if the columns, these are rows. Clear? So here to print this pattern and to print the column value and row value, we should have to use two for loops. Next step for loop, we should have to use two for loops, namely i and j. i and j both are the two variables. Here I can use i to print the row values. Here I can use j to print the column values. So all the start we should have to print according to the j column wise. So let's see, students. The first row, row number one. How many stars are here? Only one star. Row number two. How many stars are here? Two star. So row number two, two star here. Row number three. It is row number three. I represent the row number and J represent the column number. So row number three here, three stars. Row number four. Row number four here four star and row number five the last one five stars clear so this is the basic logic before start of the program try to understand once again I remind you I represent the rows value row numbers and J represent the column values column numbers so here we have to take two variables in space I comma J Or the for loop to represent the rows and column values. Now see for i is equal to one semicolon. I less than is equal to five. Five rows are here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five rows are here. I is equal to one. I less than is equal to five. And I plus plus second bracket open. Now inside the outer for loop, we should have to implement the inner for loop, namely J. For J is equal to one semicolon. 
J less than is equal to here some of you are having little bit confusion we should not write i instead of i we should have to write i because according to the row we should have to print the column values so here we will write i semicolon j plus plus second bracket okay now system dot out dot print system dot out dot print not in it. print means horizontally within false bracket within double inverted comma I write start semicolon at last second bracket close so this is our inner for loop it is used to print the column values so it is used to print the column values this one is a inner for loop in java let me check now after closing the inner for loop we should have to write system dot out dot print ln of the value of the close semicolon and second value close we should have to close the outer for loop at last we should have to close the main then class so three consecutive second bracket we need to close at end of the program clear so this one is the outer for loop this one is the outer loop and this one is the inner loop okay understand students okay let's see now students how both loops are working behind of this logic try to understand i am showing you i am just going to demonstrate you how it's working behind of this programming logic so everybody watch very quick carefully what i am going to say you right now so namely here i have taken two variables i and j already i have said here i used to print the rows value and j is used to print the column values so look at here i is 1 and j value is 1 i is starting from 1 j is also starting from 1 clear now see i is equal to 1 i less than is equal to 5 condition true then it will come to here the outer for loop sent to the inner for loop so j is equal to 1 j value is 1 and i value is 1 so 1 less than is equal to 1 condition true so it will print 1 star here so it will print 1 star now j plus plus after printing a star it will come here and j plus plus now j is becoming 2 now j is becoming 2 now condition once it will check j is equal to now 2 now j value is 2 2 less than is equal to 1 2 less than is equal to 1 condition false it will come to here system dot outer print ln it will send to the outer for loop then the cursor comes to the next line and linking here in console of the java we are not seeing the cursor but normally the logic is cursor will send the new line and print over here ok next now i plus plus i increase 1 now i value is 2 clear so i value is now 2 now i value is 2 the 2 less than is equal to 5 condition true it will come to the inner for loop now j value is 1 once again now j is starting from 1 and i value is now 2 now see j is now 1 1 less than is equal to 2 condition true print 1 star so it will print 1 star j plus plus now j value is 2 j value is now 2 so 2 less than is equal to 2 condition true it will print one more star system dot outer print means horizontally it will print one more star here here j plus plus now j value is becoming 3 
Okay, uh, J value is becoming 3. Now 3 less than is equal to 2. What is some false? If you come to here, 600 order print it, it will print a new line. The cursor comes to the next line and blinking here. Okay. Now I plus plus, I value is increase, now I value is becoming 3. Clear? So 3 less than is equal to 5. What is the true? It will send to the inner loop once again. Once again, J is starting from 1 and I value is 3. So 1 less than is equal to 3. J value is 1, 1 less than is equal to 3. What is the true? It will print 1 star. J plus plus. J plus plus. So J is starting from 1. 1 less than is equal to 3. It will print 1 star and J plus plus. Now J value is 2. Now 2 less than is equal to 3. What is the true? Print 1 star here. Once again J plus plus. Now J value is 3. Now J value is 3. 3 less than is equal to 3. What is the true? It will print 1 more star. It will print 1 more star. Now J plus plus. J value is becoming 4. Now J value is 4. So 4 less than is equal to 3. Condition false. 4 less than is equal to 3. Our condition is false. It will send here. System got order printed in. The cursor is constant and different and blinking here. I plus plus. Now I value is becoming 4. J again start from 1. Okay. 4 less than is equal to 5. Condition true. It will send here. Now I value is 4. And J value is starting from 1. Once again. Okay. So 1 less than is equal to 4. What is the 2? Print 1 star here. J plus plus. Now J is becoming 2. Now 2 less than is equal to 4. What is the true? It will come here. Print 1 star. And J plus plus. Now J is becoming 3. J is becoming 3. Now J value is 3. 3 less than is equal to 4. What is the true? It will come here, print 1 star. Now J plus plus, once again, J plus plus. Now J is becoming 4. Now J value is 4. 4 less than is equal to 4. What is the true? It will print 1 more star. J plus plus, now J value is 5. Now J value is 5. So 5 less than is equal to 4. What is the false? It will send here the outer for loop. And print a new line once again. System dot outer print it in. See the cursor comes to the next line. Blinking over here. Clear? Now I plus plus. Now I value is increase 1. Now I value is 5. J again start from the 1. Clear? Now 5 less than is equal to 5. I is equal to now 5. And 5 less than is equal to 5. For this 2 it will send to the inner for loop. J again start from the 1. And I value is now. 5. The 1 is equal to 5. Condition is true. It will come to the next line. Print 1 star. J plus plus. Now J value is 2. Now J value is 2. So 2 laser is equal to 5. Condition true. It will print 1 more star. It will print 1 more star. J plus plus. Now J value is becoming 3. Now J is becoming 3. 3 laser is equal to 5. Condition true. It will print 1 more star. It will print one more star. J plus plus. J plus plus. Now J value is increase one. Means four. Now four less than is equal to five. What is the true? It will print one more star. J plus plus. Now J is increase one. Five. J is increase one. Now J value is five. So five less than is equal to five. Our condition is true. So it means it will print one more star. It prints one more star over here. It prints horizontally. That's why it prints all the star horizontally. Because here I have written system dot out dot print. Clear. Now J plus plus. Now J value is becoming 6. J value is becoming 6. Now 6 less than is equal to 5. Condition wrong. So it will send the outer for loop. System dot out print and then cursor come here. Look at here. Now I value is becoming 6. And J value is becoming 1. Now, I is equal to 6. Less than is equal to 5. What is the wrong? Now, it will avoid from the program. Now, exit from the program. So, this is the way the logic helps to print this following left triangle star pattern in Java.
I hope students, everybody understood the logic behind of this program. So my suggestion is for you to all, it's solved to your Blue Jay compiler and check by yourself. Clear? Okay. Thank you everybody. Right click over this icon or double click over this icon to open Blue Jay. Right click over here, click open to continue. It is taking little time to open the Blue Jay window. Blue Jay window is opening right now. Look at into the screen. Okay, now window has been opened. Now click on the new class button, the left side left panel. Click on the new class button. Now here we should have to write the class name pattern. Click OK to continue. Right click over here or double click over here to open this window. Maximize it. Click Ctrl A. Press delete to continue. Class pattern. Second bracket open. Public static void main. String. ARGS. Third bracket open close. First bracket close. Next line second bracket open. Uh, int space i comma j i for the outer for loop j for the inner for loop now for i is equal to 1 uh, semicolon i less than is equal to 5 semicolon i plus plus now for j is equal to 1 semicolon j less than is equal to i semicolon j plus plus first bracket close next line second bracket open system dot out dot print ln no sorry it should be print within first bracket within double inverted comma star second bracket close now you have to erase the ln only print system dot out dot print because you have to print all the thing in the straight line horizontally okay so now come to the next line move to next line system dot out dot print ln first bracket open close semicolon next line second bracket close main close class close now our program has been closed now we have to check our programming code is correct or not click on the compile button to continue look at bottom of the screen class compile no syntax error it means or it indicates that our program is totally correct now you can check the whole program okay now you should have to check right click void main okay to continue see the pattern has been printed once again see if you want to put and looks little bit good now put one space close it right click over here choose point when click ok to continue and see this is our right triangle start panel program